think if AI power is widely distributed, um, then and there's not, uh, say, one entity that has some super AI that is a million times smarter than anything else. I mean, if, if instead the AI power is broadly distributed, and to the degree that we can link uh, AI power to um, each individual's will, um, it's like, you, you know, you would have your AI agent, and you would, like, everyone would have their sort of AI agent, and then if somebody did try to do something really terrible, well, then uh, the collective will of others could overcome that bad actor. Um, which you can't do if, if there's one AI that's, you know, a million times better than and pro else. And it's proprietary. And it's, yeah, it's either has its own will, or more likely, at least in the beginning, is controlled by, you know, some small set of people. So um, I think that's that's really the, the risk. I mean, um, you know, there's, there's always been these arguments, like, what's the, what's the best form of government? Um, you know, big fan of, I think it was Churchill, like, you know, democracy is the, the worst form of government except for all the others. Right. Um, so speaking uh, of that, yeah. this election, you are from... Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How does that strike you, what's happening now? You're, you, you've come to this country, you're a naturalized citizen. Uh, you know, I think uh, I'm glad that the framers of the Constitution saw fit to ensure that the president uh, was someone who um, was captain of a large ship with a small rudder. Okay. And? There's a limit to how much harm any given president. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. 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 So you're not worried about... Are you backing in either of the candidates at this point? I'm going to stay out of this situation. <laughs> because? I don't think it's the finest moment in our democracy. Well, given that it's not the finest moment in our democracy, do you think the best thing is to stay out? Or we'll see. to get in? I'm not sure what, what I can to do to... Get off the worst. I mean, I'm not sure how much influence I could have as, as one person on the outcome. Um, so... Um, I mean, if I think I could make it a friend, I would probably do something. Um, but, um, like I said, I think I'm just glad that, that the, the pre, you know, be, being the U.S. president is like being captain of a large ship with a small rudder. And so, there's just a limit to how much good or bad a president can, can, can actually do. I mean, obviously, if, if a president could make the economy great, that, and there was like a button they could press, they'd be pressing that button at the speed of light. Um, so, you know that they, 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 they can't. So like, can't they, they can't just magically make the economy good. Um, no president wants the economy bad ever. Um, but they, you know, like, there's just a limit to, to how much they can do. Um, and um, yeah, I guess there is the nuclear thing, which is yeah, the nuclear know, thing. <laughs> I guess there is the nuclear thing. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I think people, I think I think I don't think we would like. Just arbitrarily launch nuclear missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the president can do that. Um, uh, I don't think so. President's all the commander in chief. I mean, I think that he's no, he's the commander in chief. Yeah, no, but I, I, I still don't think that means you can just launch nuclear missiles whenever you want. Yeah. Um, um, I, I think Congress would be like quite upset about that, and um, they might not be consulted. Yeah, but I think I think like the military would be like, yeah, we really think Congress should be consulted on it before we launch a yeah. that that might happen. That could happen. Strike. Are you yeah. willing? That, um, you're basing your faith in that, though. I'm quite confident that the military would not just, you know, randomly agree to launching nuclear missiles at somebody. Well, that's calming. That's um, so, um, yeah. uh, we're going to put up just very quickly with we'll and on Hyperloop. You've been involved with it. Your level of involvement is what at this point? Just yeah, um, and, and it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit confusing because um, I. Um, you talked about it when you were here last time. Yeah, um, <laughs> I actually came up with the idea. Um, I came up with an initial idea, which would which turned out to be wrong. It wouldn't work um, several years ago, and and then, um, but I sort of shut my mouth off and and said, "Oh, I feel like I have an idea that would work," and it turned out that didn't work. But I. With a lot of iteration, I was able to come up with something that where the physics hangs together, um, and then published the paper and just said, like, look, anyone who wants to do this is great. Go, you know, be my guest because uh, I'm I sort of have a plate full running Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it'd be great. I mean, it'd be great to have any 
interesting new transport solutions, um, anything that gets people to their destination um, in a way that's safer, costs less, it's more convenient, um, that'd be great. And, and so I think probably the most valuable thing that the Hack Loop paper that uh, I published um, uh, has done is, is to spur thinking in terms of new transportation systems. So it's not just, oh, let's, you know, have a, a fast train. Um, okay, that's not even as fast as what Japan did in the 80s. Like, okay, well, why, 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 I don't see what the point of that is. You know, um, like we should really be trying to think of some something that's, um, I think particularly in California, like we should be like saying, hey, what is the best, well, let's invent something new that's way better than anything else. Do you want to shoot your mouth off about that? Um, well, um, you know, I, so, so I, I mean, I'm not an investor in any of the companies uh, that, are, that are working on it. And I've tried to be neutral because I'm, like kind of, I'm trying not to favor one company over another, uh, but just to encourage anyone that is interested to say that, you know, they have, try, try to give them moral support, you know, um, and I, I hope they succeed. Um, the, the only thing that um, I am doing on Happily Fund is like we're, we're holding a student competition, and the student competition is really just um, aimed towards encouraging uh, students to think about exciting new transport methods. Um, and it's totally cool if they want to like do some architecture that's different from uh, what I propose in Hyperloop. And in fact, the the winning team at the student competition that we held earlier this year used a different um, suspension mechanism uh, than what I proposed, which is I you know I, I proposed using essentially taking taking the uh, air that eventually so that pulls up on the nose from the compressor and, and, and flowing up through um, air skis um, so that you simultaneously remove the drag from the nose and provide a, 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 a means of suspending the, the, the pod. Um, and, that, and that's also something that, that works well um, even at uh, super, supersonic velocities. You can go, it's been demonstrated up to Mach 1.1 in terms of using air bearings as... as but a, they use something different. Uh, like, uh, yeah, basically electromagnetic suspension. Um, and, and, and the, like the, the the reason I didn't suggest um, uh, um, sort of any, any kind of um, um, magnetic suspension um, is that it's very important that the cost of the of the tube be, be minimized. So you really want because the the, the pod is cheap, the tube is expensive. Um, so if you if you want to go say 400 miles and, you've, and, and in two directions, so you've got 800 miles of tube. The the, the critical uh, e economic optimization parameter is the cost of the tube. So you want that tube to be as low cost as possible. Um, and so if you if you do anything that requ that um, requires um, action on the tube side, it's going to make that tube much more expensive.